Hey guys, we're talking about WrestleMania 7 on 30 Days of WrestleMania. We're creeping along here. I swear we're going to get to him. No, no, I'm not going to promise. I'm honestly not going to promise anything. We really are not going to do that. Uh, WrestleMania 7, this was the big one. I uh, talked about a little bit. If you looked at my road to our uh, 30 Days of WrestleMania for WrestleMania 6, they talked about the uh, Los Angeles Coliseum and how that did not happen. We ended up in, uh, in another uh, location adjacent to it uh, with a much smaller capacity, uh, citing, of course, uh, security issues, granted the storyline, and ongoing war. Actually, it was a pretty quick war, if I recall. I was around for them. Desert Storm trading cards. That was a thing. Anyways. Well, this, you know, of course, we had Sergeant Slaughter, the turncoat going for Iraq, and uh, Hulk Hogan come back as the American hero. Um, probably the best way, I, you know, the most reactive storyline I think we've seen, uh, definitely into WrestleMania for a long time. And we've always had, you know, the Bolsheviks, the Russians, the Iranian, you know, uh, through the years, but, uh, not really on the main event, uh, like they had been at this case and really kind of taking that fever pitch and a very, uh, poster card to America going in here. Um, and it doesn't hold up. Yeah, it holds up. I think, um, I think Sergeant Slaughter, uh, I don't want to say he was past his prime. He's definitely later in the twilight of his career. Uh, great resurgence for him in this case. But, uh, you know, we're not looking at, you know, doing you know, backflips with Hulk Hogan. You know, I mean, it, it, it's fine. And he gets to play that character. He has so much, such a great character to, to you know, uh, calling people pukes. And <laughs> it's just a lot of fun to watch that kind of thing. And then very American. And we had Hacksaw Jim Duggan come out at the top of the show. Um, helping with commentary. It was pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, I, you know, some of the memories from this, of course, you know, there's the infamous blindfold match, uh, where, you know, it's not as bad as I recall, or everybody kind of points it out to be kind of funny since I did see a uh, blindfold match recently in our friends at VOW. And I, it, it's like, I feel like we only have so many numbers of spots that we do. Uh, they did a little bit more, of course, but like, I, like I recognize like the bump in and everything like that, you know, from this. And I don't know how many of those there had been, uh, for people to take off of, uh, and also, so noticing for well, first match of the streak, Undertaker taking on uh, Jimmy Snuka. Um, Hercules is still around. I don't know what the infatuation with Hercules being on the card for so long is, uh, but he's now as part of power, power and glory with Paul Roma that gets squashed in no time with Legion of Doom. Um, and uh, celebrities, we had what Marla Maples, I think, and uh, Alex Trebek, uh, Regis Philbin, um, a fantastic, fun time uh, because they had them and they they lined up this this uh, exceedingly long. Oh, Willie Nelson sang the national anthem, which was also fantastic. Um, but we had this exceedingly long interview segment with everybody that ended up. Uh, you know, just putting these guys in interviews, like the worst possible interviews, like Alex Trebek uh, with uh, Jake Snake uh, and everything. It was uh, it was pretty fantastic. And that's how you use celebrities in an entertaining spot. They're part of it. And and I ask you this uh, in in the front of the uh, Macho King and Queen Sherry. Is that Shane Douglas carrying that uh, that podium there? I mean, I'm curious about that. Um, the retirement match was more amazing that I remembered between Ultimate Warrior and Macho King, Macho Man, Randy Savage. Um, uh, the instant face turn, of course, when he loses, Elizabeth comes out. Uh, the, I forgot this is when Virgil was liberated. Uh, we had these uh, random Japanese guys taking on the new demolition with Crush. Uh, Mr. Perfect in, in, in fine form against the big boss man. Uh, undercard... I, you know, again, it's the same color, colorful characters that I, I, I've been really enjoying going through this over the last couple of WrestleManias, and this is really kind of the height of it. Um, but this is the first that I felt like a lot of the matches were very, 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 very underwhelming. Like, there was a lot of... Tito Santana got squashed in no time by the Mountie. Tito Santana... You know, and, and I'm starting to notice as we go over the years, when we take guys like Tito Santana, we take guys like Superfly Jimmy Snuka, who were as big, at least mid '80s uh, during the rise, as Hulk Hogan in their in their uh, respects, and and watching them kind of fall down into being the lower card guys, which is frustrating if you're a fan of them for a while. But it makes sense because I mean they do that kind of fade out thing with them and and prop up newer guys like in this case the Mountie, in this case the Undertaker. Um, but but it's very apparent when you're doing this this curve year to year 
of something like WrestleMania that does feature everybody that's in the top of the company at the time, right? Um, but again, and then the main event was fantastic as expected. So WrestleMania 7, the most patriotic of WrestleManias. Having a lot of fun with that. Next is WrestleMania 8, which I remember to be quite a cluster to be quite honest. So we'll see how that goes. Check us out next time and check out everything going on at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We get the Mayhem Minute, Wrestling Mayhem Show, some fantastic discussions about Jon Stewart on Raw this week. Uh, if you're watching this live or catching this later, um, that's uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, 459, if I'm not mistaken, if you want to check out that conversation. Also, the Intercontinental title, Hot Potato, that's been going on lately. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.